Have you ever asked yourself, who am I and what on earth am I here for? Hi everyone, I'm Janela and for today's video, I will be sharing to you three ways on how to discover your purpose in life with God. The night that me and my dad are having our devotion, he shared me this story. So way back June 29, 1987, the day I was born, and our family are not Christian back then. So when my mother gave birth to me, I've stayed at the hospital for two days. It should be more than that, for some proper cleaning and medication. And then for some reason, they've decided to bring me home after two days. And after a week, I've been experiencing some complications, I've become weaker and weaker, the color of my skin is changing, until I'm in a 50-50 stage of my life. Immediately, they brought me to the hospital for me to recover as soon as possible. With the help of the doctors, nurses, and also my parents, it happened. Praise be to God for giving me the another chance to live. After I heard that, it made me realize how God really moved in my life personally, from the day I was born, and in our lives also. He reminded me that He has a plan for us, and He can also use people to fulfill His great work in our life because He gave us a purpose. So here are the three ways to help you on how to discover your purpose in life with God. The first thing that you need to do is to start right. Start right by having a relationship with God. Year 2006, when I was 9 years old, my parents decided to enroll me at a vocal lesson workshop. At first, ayoko because I know in myself na mahiyain at takot ako humarap sa maraming tao. I'm just a kid na ang gusto lang ay maglaro, mag-aral, and just do the same thing over and over. Pero habang tumatagal, narealize ko na pwede rin pala akong maging isang singer someday. Pero hindi pa nagtatapos doon. In the scripture says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. After four years, when I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, by the grace of God, doon nagsimulang magbago ang buhay ko at mas nagkaroon ito ng halaga. And He gave me the right to become His child. So always remember that without God, our life will be meaningless. Number two, seek. Seek God's will into your life. The primary way God speaks to us is through His Word, the Bible. In the scripture says, meditate on it day and night so that you will prosper and succeed in all you do. So as I dug deeper in the Word of God, doon ko mas natutunan at naunawaan kung ano ang kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay ko. Na yung talent or ability na ipinagkatiwala niya sa akin ay magamit for His own glory. And it reminds me that I was made to worship Him. So as we read and meditate God's Word, we will learn how to live wisely and it will help us towards finding our purpose in life. Number three, stay focused. In the scripture says, let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, on whom our faith depends on Him from the beginning to the end. Before, my dream is to become a famous singer. But now that I know my purpose, which is to glorify God through this God-given talent, I know na hindi pa rin ako exempted pagdating sa challenges and trials in life. But as long as I fix my eyes on Jesus and stay focused, I can overcome. It is important that you see yourself the way God sees you because He knows that you have a potential and your life has a purpose. Therefore, always remember that life is short. Just like in the scripture says, so teach us to number our days so that we may get a heart of wisdom. So if you don't have a plan for your life, God has a plan for you. And He has something good in store for you. You only need to start it by having a relationship with Him, seek His will, and to stay focused on Him. Then, you will have a purposeful life. So to answer our question, who am I? I am Janela Lorenzo, and I am a child of God. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and feel free to share it to everyone. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to stay updated for more upcoming videos. God bless and have a triumphant 2021! To God be the glory!